All right, look, every time I talk about OLED, there's always that one guy in the comments complaining that displays are too bright or absolutely grasping at straws doing Olympic level mental gymnastics in a desperate attempt to stifle display innovation so they can feel validated. Now, for obvious reasons, this is absolutely insane. I mean, if you don't like bright displays, you can just, I don't know, limit the max brightness in the display or operating system rather than argue for measurably worse technology for everyone. Look, it's not up for debate that brighter displays on OLED specifically is a good thing for HDR content, where peak highlights can dramatically increase the dynamic range, allowing you to see closer to the creator's intent and present a more true to life image. So when people argue against improvements in brightness, it just makes me wanna ask whether they put on the red nose or the white makeup first when they get up in the morning. Plus honestly, if people really think a thousand nits is too bright, how in the name of God do they go outside? 1000 nits is absolutely nothing compared to a sunny day. Are people just hiding under a blanket in the basement sucking on their thumbs? In fact, in order to prove how absolutely ridiculous this argument is, I went outside. I know, I know, going outside, scary, scary, with the tool for measuring the brightness of displays and what I found is definitely gonna shock some people. Even in a shadowy area, as you can see, it can vary anywhere from 200-ish nits all the way to nearly 1,000 nits of brightness. And then when moving to something like pavement in the sun, it's so bright I had to move it over another decimal place and it was reaching well over 13,000 nits. But wait, it gets so much brighter. I then measured my deck and found it varied anywhere from around 600 to apparently over 39,000 nits in one small area. The fence was over 21,000 nits, a shaded area over 1,300 nits, and a white chair over 28,000 nits. Now look, I understand your eyes can adjust to different brightness levels, so it can be very shocking to go from a very dark scene to something that would be 10,000 nits or more. That would honestly be absolutely ridiculous. However, we're not talking about 10,000 nits here, guys. We're talking about OLED screens and even mini LED screens that reach maybe around 2,000 nits of peak brightness. Even the most bright displays that are being released will get maybe up to 5,000 nits in a very small window. And I think we have to ask the question, you know, is it really the TV's fault if it goes from a super dark scene to a maximum brightness scene back to back? Or is that the fault of the creator? I mean, if you actually set your TV or monitor or whatever to track the EOTF curve properly and not over brighten things using dynamic tone mapping, well then if it's still going from a super dark scene to super bright scene, again, that's not the TV's fault, that's the creator's fault. And you have to ask the question, was it intended or not? If it's their intention and you don't like it, you know, you don't have to see what their intention was. You can turn down the brightness. And if it wasn't their intention, maybe they just need to work on keeping that in mind. Displays are brighter now, so maybe we shouldn't shock people with random bright images. But even with that being said, it is clearly better for OLED displays especially to be getting brighter and brighter so that we can get a more rich and high dynamic range image on our HDR display. So overall, if you're mad that displays are getting brighter, go on a walk, please. Also, pick off. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60fps or 4K 144fps 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.